how to move one of your files from your single user storage to a team storage. This is a complicated process. I think possibly because with Autodesk Fusion 360, um, with the Teams thing, they're assuming a lot of the work that gets saved for, let's say, a particular architecture or engineering firm uh, is the proprietary property, right, of that company. And so if the individual employee moves, what the company wants to do is hold on to those files locked in their team and not have that um, employee taking those files with them to another firm. Um, here's the workaround that we've found. All right, so um, let's say I wanna move this alum aluminum copper 2.3.2 um, from my single user storage to Fusion 360 at John Emerson North. What I can do is um, I am going to view this on the web. And bear in mind, I might pause the recording at some points if it's taking a really long time, but this shouldn't take much longer. Uh, and then I will come to here um, let's see, I think click share. And we're going to do something kind of sneaky. We're going to copy the share link. Okay. Um, and meanwhile, I'm going to go back to Fusion 360. This is important and switch to being in Fusion 360 at China Mission North, that team, uh, making that active. Okay. So now it's switched. Um, I'm going to go back to Chrome in a new browser. I'm going to paste and go. And what I'll say is open in Fusion 360. It's important that I switched from my single user to the team and that's at that time. So let's do open. And I'm going to pause it while it does this. So that took a little bit of time, but I believe it's finished. Um, I actually clicked uh, finish and background on the dialog box. Uh, I don't need this one right here. But um, what I can do now is open Autodesk Fusion 360. And check it out. I'm in the team um, that I want it to go to. And there is my new file. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is hit uh, Command S on my MacBook to save. And just to confirm, these are indeed the folders that are in this um, team rather than my single user storage. So I'll click Save and I'm all done.